Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Welcome to this edition of the weekly hump day happy chat. I'm Valerie Shepard. I'm very happy to be coming to you from the Hartley Center for Mindfulness and Self Mastery. Yay. Self mastery. It's a beautiful thing. It's about mastering you in your life so that you can exquisitely manage whatever your life brings your way. Yay. It's important to be able to, to deal with stuff. <laughs> your very happiness depends on it, actually. <laughs> it's funny how that works. <laughs> Dealing with stuff is how I give myself happiness or don't. It, it really is that simple and it really is a choice and it really is your choice and it really is always and forever up to you. Always and forever up to you and, and really no one else. They can't, they can't fix it. They can't make you happy. They can't make you sad. You get to choose the power of choice. Yabba and Dabba and do. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really grateful to have you here. And this is um, the gratitude edition. <laughs> How could we be in the United States the day before Thanksgiving and not talk about uh, the miracles? Mm, yes, indeed. The miracles inside gratitude the miracles inside gratitude so i really would like to talk about this i've talked about this before and i'd like to sort of i guess there's no um there's no limit on how much we can study train ourselves practice uh gratitude there's no limit there's no limit to the power gratitude has in our life to transform that which we are currently experiencing that maybe we don't want into something that we do. It's a powerful, powerful place to anchor oneself. So when we think about whatever life brings your way, even in a, um, life that's rich with blessings and, and full with wonderful experiences and um, divine in every way that you can imagine, there are probably some things that you don't want necessarily. Uh, there's some things that maybe take the shine off the apple, so to speak. <sighs> How do we be happy with that? How do we be grateful for that? It's really, it's really a deepening place of your connection to the divine love that is the universe. Gratitude is the, like the highest vibration next to unconditional love, being grateful. The masters have taught it in every religious and spiritual practice the power of thankfulness and how it doubles over and creates more for which to be grateful, how it's the center of intention process, law of attraction, law of receiving, like all these things have gratitude at their core. So as far as I'm concerned, it lifts me up to talk about it, so we're going to talk about it today. And we're going to do a little meditation in it today as a part of, as a part of getting into the practice, right? Like, like, it's really, I think it's really important, obviously, because I'm happy, chat, happy chats, to have these conversations, like to chat about things, to, to bring them up from the perspective that I'm able to um, talk about or share. And there are plenty of beautiful master teachers who talk about this too. So this is, I'm not telling you something that I'm saying I'm the only one. 
I have a perspective on it and that's what I'm going to share. But today beyond the sharing, we're going to do a practice. We're going to get into a meditation around it. Just a, a quick one, especially to help anybody today, <clears throat> excuse me, as we get ready for celebration of Thanksgiving in the United States, anyone who is on the verge of feeling anything but thankful, um, anything, whether it's a, a slice on your finger or a massive loss, a massive catastrophic experience in your life, whatever that is, we're going to experience how you use gratitude to change your vibration, to resolve what's happening and to transform it into something that is a little less maybe unwanted, a little less hurtful, a little less toxic, a little less troublesome, a lot less debilitating, a lot less debilitating. So, you know, I love words. So if you look up gratitude, uh, I, I checked in dictionary.com just to see if there was stuff there that I would uh, want to talk about. And we all know it means appreciation and thanks. Um, Whenever we say thank you, whether it's out loud or quietly inside, we're showing appreciation for something. But the title of today's talk is Miracles Inside This Attitude of Gratitude. Miracles Inside the Attitude. So when we feel gratitude, we're not only pleased with something that's happening inside or outside or for us or about us or around us or near us, but we are excited about the results that are happening. And there's a slight difference because in gratitude, there's a freedom. There's a freedom. So have you ever been with people who, as soon as they receive something, they're grateful. Good morning. I see you there. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. But have you ever been around people who something happens and they're really um they're happy and they're thankful and then they go into a different place with it. They go into a place of, I need to do something back. I, I need to, you could pay me a compliment. Oh, that's so sweet. You look great too. They pay the compliment back. They go right back. You bring them something. They've got to bring you something. You offer to take care of their lunch. They've got to buy your lunch the very next day. So, that little dynamic, it switches from gratitude into something else called indebtedness. It switches from being just pure and simple appreciation. Wow, thank you so much. And feeling like I'm worthy and deserving. And so I'll just hang out in the thank you so much, right? And I have to turn it into indebtedness and feeling anxious that the scales are out of balance and, and somebody's giving me more than I'm giving them back. Like, like um, that, like having that happen. So you wanna watch out for that, number one, because it's not about that. Gratitude is not about making sure you ma match people measure for measure, pound for pound. It's not about that. It's about being in the space of, I'm so grateful, I appreciate this. So when you're doing gratitude, and it is, it can be a verb, not just a noun. I like to use it as in a verb sense. Good morning, thank you for coming. I'd like to do it in a verb sense, right? I'm grateful, I'm showing gratitude, I'm being in the energy of my own appreciation and gratefulness. <sighs> Love it. It's important not to get caught up in the indebtedness of it, in the I've gotta pay you back somehow because that actually kind of nullifies all that beautiful energy that you're giving yourself. So as we get ready for Thanksgiving, and I know that um, over the years, Thanksgiving has become more politicized and um, from a historical perspective about the First Nations of the United States or the Native Americans and, and what was done to them and, and all these dynamics. And, and I know that it's commercialized, you know, with Black Friday and stores staying open really late today and opening up right after dinner and all that stuff. And I, I really just, you know, push that aside. I'm grateful for all that brings to the world, for the people who need those jobs and all that stuff. I'm grateful for all that. 
but I want to stay in the space or and I want to stay in the space of the deep and deep and stuff inside Thanksgiving, the deep spiritual community nature of Thanksgiving, the energies of uh, wholeness and oneness and uh, peace and collaboration and acceptance and discernment, clarity, receiving. I want to stay in those energies today. So that's the way we're going to talk about this. And so it's very easy to be grateful when everything's hunky-dory, right? When everything's coming up the way we want it to be. And that's beautiful. It's awesome. There's nothing wrong with that. It's really important. And it's beautiful. The way gratitude actually becomes an attitude, right? So this is the miracles inside the attitude of gratitude. So the way gratitude becomes an attitude, good morning, thanks for joining me. Yay. The way it becomes an attitude, which is a predisposition, a settled way of being, dictionary.com, settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something that is really reflected in your behavior. There's the verb, the things that you do, the way that you be, right? There's the verb, the action of gratitude. It's displayed in your behavior. The way gratitude becomes an attitude is that it's practiced all the time. All the time. I know, sometimes that's easier said than done. But even saying it, you can be grateful that you have the intention to get better at it. To get better at it. So the attitude shows up when you've practiced the behavior so much that it's a predisposition and you are walking, breathing, gratitude being. Like there is something in every second for which to be grateful. And it's mostly just a turning on of your antenna and a will to see, a will to see. A will. Yes, indeed. So it's in those moments when things are not going our way that being able to see what's possible can start from gratitude. So let's just do this in a little bit of a meditative place. So if you're driving and listening to me, maybe pull over. You don't have to stop listening. But if you're going to keep driving, Please don't close your eyes. <laughs> Please don't close your eyes when we do this meditation. But I invite you, encourage you just to get into a space of calm, inner calm and quiet. We're only going to meditate for a few minutes. You can do it. Join me in the space of inner calm. You can close your eyes. You can let your eyes rest on something that triggers a feeling of gratitude within you. Just feel yourself coming to a little bit of a quietness, a peacefulness. And listen to my voice as I talk you through some of the ways that you can get into this attitude of gratitude. So connect with your physical body, your physical body. Feel it sitting in your chair. Feel it touching your clothes. Feel it feeling air, or maybe rain, or maybe steam. Feel it feeling what's around you. And be grateful for that. Say thank you. Thank you, physical body, for your sensations, the stories you tell me, the support that you give me, the way that you carry me from one place to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, all the time. Even when I forget that you're there as an instrument of my travel, of my experience, of my being. Thank you, body. I appreciate you. I appreciate you exactly as you are. Let's say you're going to that body and there's a feeling of discomfort or 
pain or out of sortsness. The word out of sortsness. I just made that up. Thank you, brain, for making up words. So on my body, there's a lot of discomfort uh, on the right side of my body almost all the time. For a long time now. And I can hold that side of my body in blessings and love. Thank you for the healing. Thank you, body, for the transformation that you are in process with. <laughs> Thank you for doing as well as you are doing. Thank you for reminding me what it's like to rest. Thank you for reminding me what it means to slow down and even to stop. Thank you, physical body. So that's a real simple thing you can be in, the physical body, the gratitude of what that body does for you, even with the things that don't work. The next place I like to go is, is driven by this understanding of the spiritual law of increase. So Yeshua is known to have taught this a lot. His life was a demonstration of the spiritual law of increase. The Yeshua, I write in my book that I don't really study um, that Jesus was this being that was not like me. I study the life of Jesus as the man of Jesus and what he came to teach us about being the divine human that we are. And so one of the ways he did that was through demonstration of how the law of increase works. And at the center of the law of increase is gratitude. Anytime you are trying to increase anything, increase your peace, increase your stability, increase your healing, increase your joy, increase your finances, increase your friendships, increase your love, increase your opportunity, increase your ability to understand what's going on in a minute. Anytime, turn your attention away from the challenge or what you don't want, what is there that is the unwanted thing, the problem in the circumstance, the debilitation, the addiction, the, the lack, turn your attention away from that and give thanks for the good that is already shown up. Give thanks for the good that is showing up in this very moment. Give thanks for the blessings not yet realized that you believe in faith and trust are on their way. In so doing, you activate the law of spiritual increase, also known as the law of gratitude. You activate it with gratitude no matter what else is happening. And sometimes where people get frustrated by this is they see that their problems, they think their problems are from the divine. I don't tend to think that anymore. I used to. I used to. I've, I feel like I've matured in my understanding of how my life works, how the world works, which is what I teach. But actually, the challenges are just there. They're there. They show up, especially when there are human beings doing things. Challenges show up. And so what I focus on for myself and my clients and my students is to be a, an integrated spiritual human person and be in the energy of what's my higher vibration? What are the spiritual laws that are governing my life, even on the planet Earth, where I walk as a human? So the spiritual law of increase says, be thankful for the good showing up, even if you can't see it yet, and then watch it walk in the door. The principle was demonstrated beautifully in the story of the loaves and fishes, in the story of all Jesus's healings. If you see the words that he spoke over unhealed bodies in order for healing to happen, that was all gratitude and thankfulness and belief. 
faith. So back into meditation. Imagine there are things that need to be resolved in your life. There are things that need to be resolved in mine. Things that I would love to be resolved in my life. And so hold those things. If you can feel them in your heart, get them out of your head as a concept and a principle and a worry. See if you can pull them down into the heart. Allow your heart to be a sacred container holding those things. And then concentrate with me on this. I am so grateful for the resolution of all that is unresolved or appears to be unresolved in my life. I'm, I'm deeply grateful for the healing that I know is coming. I'm deeply grateful for the love relationships in my life. I'm deeply grateful for the newness of answers that are coming, that I am in the midst of the unknown, receiving discernment about what is mine to know and therefore what is mine to do next. Deeply grateful for that. Thank you for my answers. Thank you for my 100% healing. Thank you for my increased stamina. Thank you for my um, overflowing prosperity that blesses me and my family and those that I want to serve, mm, that I'm committed to serving. Are you getting the picture? Yeah. Speak your own into your experience, into your body, into your vibration, into your area. What is it that you are going to activate using gratitude to show up into your life? And then I have a quote that I love from Arthur Ashe, a famous African-American tennis player, twice in his career ranked number one in the world. Start where you are. Use what you have and do what you can. I give gratitude that I know to start right where I am, to use this body as it is, to use this mind, to give what I have and to be who I came here to be. And you can say those words in any way you like. The idea is to just be in this energy of gratitude, the spiritual law of increase, and watching the miracles that show up in your life. You don't need to look very far or listen very deeply to see those miracles. Remember to get out of the challenge and start speaking and feeling and vibrating in gratitude for that which you know is going to show up. The car broke down right in that moment. Be grateful for help that's on its way and see what happens. You're feeling sad. Be grateful for the resolution of that in your life and see how something shows up to help transmute and transform and resolve that sadness and provide you with a fountain of joy and peace in the midst of it. And no matter what, do whatever you can from wherever you're starting to give a little bit of your attention to gratitude every day. Activating the spiritual law of increase just takes your focus and your commitment. Yay. So to my American friends, happy Thanksgiving. Blessings always, not just today. Use this as a reminder. And 
just keep it going. Many blessings, say the prayer. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. That's you and me. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature and may all beings be free. Many, many blessings. See you next week. Thanks for joining me. Please share, please leave comments. Your comments and messages are how I pick the topics for each week. And I'd love to be uh, speaking right into your heart. Many blessings. I'm Valerie Shepard, signing off from the Hartley Center for Mindfulness and Self-Mastery. Many blessings. Bye now.